labor while peace there may be in silence. And as far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their stories. Avoid lying and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or busy. For always you will be a greater and lesser person than yourself. Speak your truth. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career. However, humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not be in affection. Neither be cynical about love. For in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of you. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you from sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe will afford you as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you can see it to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations and the noise and confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all the shame, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive.